John Turcott was born near Drummond on July 22, 1941. The son of Fred and Marie Rose Turcott, he grew up on a farm with his 12 brothers and sisters. Turcott didn't have to look far for his love of horses. I was always there playing with the horses. And horses are very kind of animal, and they'll wash it, they, they don't ste step on you, and they're, uh, they're a great animal. His father had been a jockey in his youth, and the love for racing was common for several of the children. His father was also quick to boast about Ron, saying the family horses got great care under the boy. When Ron reached the eighth grade, and against his parents' wishes, he dropped out of school and took a job as a lumberjack. However, because of his small size, he had difficulties with saws and axes. But the young Turcott was very good with horses, so he was given the task of unloading logs from the horse teams, and he excelled at it. My dad taught, taught me when I would work with horses that uh, coaxing them to do, do work, be nice to them, and uh, they'll in turn uh, repay you and you know, willingness to, uh, to work and listen to you. After a couple of rough winters, lumber work in Drummond was getting scarce, so Turcott decided to move to Ontario. Job prospects there weren't much better, and he worked in a restaurant to get by. Around this time, he saw horse races nearby, and the idea of being a jockey appealed to him. And I groomed horses for uh, four months. I started in May in May 1960. Quickly, Turcott rose up the ranks as a jockey. On April 9, 1962, he scored his first win aboard a horse named Pheasant Lane, and the victories continued from there. By the end of the year, I was leading rider in Canada. And the following year, I went on and rode a horse of the year on top of that. In fact, during his illustrious career, Turcott won 3,033 races. In 1965, Turcott won the Preakness Stakes aboard Tom Rolfe. In 1972, he rode Riva Ridge to victory in the Kentucky Derby, setting the stage for history the following year. In 1973, Turcott aboard the legendary Secretariat won horse racing's Triple Crown, the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont Stakes. I had so much confidence and thinking so much I was going to win it that it just didn't dawn on me, you know, like, I knew we did it. And uh, winning by 31 Len and breaking records and every one of them is something you have to do to digest, you know, for a long time. It never really hit me till about two weeks after our achievement, you know, what, what we have done. And every year seems to be bigger and bigger. I'll always remember that. It just it gave me goosebumps at the time, and it, it still does. In 1973, Ron Turcott was inducted into the New Brunswick Sports Hall of Fame. He was invested into the Order of Canada in 1974. And he's recognized as a, as a rock star at the, some of these international events that he goes to. So it's quite impressive that this gentleman from our province has been able to represent our province so uh, well on the international scene. Ron Turcott married Gétien Morin on August 25, 1965 in his hometown of Drummond. They had four daughters. According to his family, Ron has always been generous with family, often buying horses for his brothers, who were also jockeys. Turcott's racing career came to an abrupt end on July 13, 1978, in an accident at New York's Belmont Park. Turcott fell from his mount after an accident on the Belmont racetrack. As a result, Turcott was left a paraplegic. He uses a wheelchair to this day. Being a practicing really Catholic, Turcott said the accident strengthened his faith. He never wondered, why me? Instead, Turcott would say, why not me? For his accomplishments as a jockey, including his 1973 Triple Crown win with Secretariat, and for representing New Brunswick throughout the world, Ron Turcott is one of the 12 New Brunswick greats.